Hello everybody, it's Explore Vegas, and today we are at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. We're hitting you up with another buffet review. The Bacchanal Buffet, one of the most popular buffets in Vegas, is also the largest buffet in Vegas. With 10 kitchens, 9 chef-attended action stations, and over 250 dishes, you're bound to find something to satisfy your cravings. They are open Monday and Thursday for brunch from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at a price tag of $64.99 and from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. for crab brunch at a price tag of $79.99. From Friday through Sunday, crab brunch is offered from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. for $84.99 and dinner is also served daily from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. The price is $79.99 Monday through Thursday and $84.99 Friday through Sunday. Please check the description below for updated pricing and hours as this buffet does tend to make changes frequently. On holidays they tend to charge more and they don't advertise it but they also offer special items on the menu. The Bacchanal Buffet does accept reservations and I highly recommend you do so as the walk-in line can be very, very long. Also please keep in mind that parking rates for Caesars Palace ranges from $18 to $23 with locals getting the first three hours for free. Is this sort of luxury worth it? You'll just have to keep watching to find out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let us show you all the dishes in this grand buffet. We'll begin the tour at the seafood station. First up, steamed snow crab legs. Look at these beauties. Here are kimchi barbecue oysters and seared scallops. Here's shrimp and grits, and they come with a scallop on the half shell. Here is lobster bisque, only offered on special holidays. A new addition, these are poached lobster claws. Here's New England Seafood Boil that comes with Dungeness Crab, Prawns, Blue Crab, Mussels, Corn, and Potatoes. There's Clarified Butter. Here are Pen Cove Mussels and Cortez Clams. They have Chilled Dungeness Crab Legs and Shrimp Cocktail. Loving that the shrimp are already peeled. In addition to the steamed snow crab legs, they also offer them chilled. Here's octopus salad and chilled lobster claws. Such a beautiful sight seeing them stock some more. Here are whelks. These are Cajun poached prawns. Here's Cajun remoulade, mignonette, French lemon wedges, horseradish, and cocktail sauce. For special holidays such as Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, they add some items to the menu. The price is also a bit higher too. You'll see items such as oysters on the half shell and they also beef up their crab leg game. They sometimes include split king crab legs. How about that? Now let's have a look at the carving station. The first of two carving sections has two folks carving the meats. First up, roasted bone marrow. These are New York Oscars, followed by wood grilled lamb T-bones. Now let's look at those meats. There is smoked brisket, beef steamship, prime rib, grilled tri-tip, baby back ribs, slab bacon, and honey baked bone in ham. Add some barbecue sauce, peppercorn sauce, au jus, or creamy horseradish if you like. Here is mushroom and cipollini ragu. Bring on the buffalo spiced chicken wings. Here's your mashed potatoes, truffle mac and cheese, creamed spinach, eat your green asparagus peas and edamame. Here's pancetta roasted Brussels sprouts, lobster pot pie, bacchanal sliders, barbecue train wreck fries, and some vegan chili. Here's impossible burger stroganoff, water veggie and lentils. And here comes the second carving station. Here they have New Zealand lamb chops, foie gras cognac sauce, roast turkey, truffle turkey juice, porchetta, or porchetta. Comment below which one is it. They also have chimichurri, apple mint chutney, and grilled quail. How about that? Here are winter root vegetables, cauliflower and broccolini, 
and roasted carrots. Here's loaded potato salad, iceberg wedge salad, butternut squash and quinoa salad. There's some creamy horseradish. Now let's have a look at the Asian station. There are cuisines from many different countries here. First up, black pepper beef. There's bang bang shrimp. Stir fry vegetables. Salt and pepper frog legs, wow. Carved duck roast. Some exo chicken. Char siu fried rice. Char siu ribs. Thai curried blue crab. That one looks new from last year. Some crab rangoons. Looks like they're out of spring rolls. And then there's shiitake pot stickers. Roasted duck, anyone? Here's shrimp hargao. Some vegetable dumplings. Shumai. And barbecue pork buns. Here are Korean glass noodles, Kalbi short ribs, and they have all of the Korean side dishes. There's pickled daikon, cabbage kimchi, cucumber kimchi, black beans, and bean sprouts. Here's Korean fried chicken, kimchi fried rice. Of course they have steamed rice as well. Grilled shishito peppers. Chilled edamame, spicy edamame. Here's citrus taco poke. Ahi tuna poke. Lomi salmon poke. Spicy yellowtail sashimi. Bacchanal rolls. Volcano rolls. Here is salmon and tuna nigiri. And these are vegan California rolls. Here's papaya salad. These are chicken skewers. Some pork lumpia. Chinese roasted pork belly. Of course they have lechon dipping sauce. And the other customary dipping sauces. Let's have a look at the Asian soup station. They have black garlic ramen, tonkatsu ramen, Vietnamese pho, tom ka, egg flour soup, Filipino kangi, and dandan dan noodles. Here's ancient grain salad, hearts of palm salad, roasted beet salad, ugh, fruit salad, a mystery salad, and Cleopatra salad. Here's Bloody Mary deviled eggs, caviar volavant, Burrata and sweet potato. Here's whipped butter, truffle butter, and chive butter. Assorted bread and rolls. Don't eat the bread. Let us have a look at the assorted cheeses and charcuterie. Delicious meats. They have quite the assortment of dried and candied nuts. Just in case you came to the buffet to gnaw on cheese like a rat, they have you covered. Here they have feta cheese, pickled turnips, marinated olives, fatouche salad, marinated watermelon radish, carrot sultana salad, grilled naan bread and dolmas. Another special holiday treat is a caviar station. And at this station they have kaluga, smoked trout roe, lumpfish roe topping, and it is spectacular. Add some whipped cream cheese, chive, onion, or egg. Here at the Italian station we have caprese salad, orzo salad. There's some meat lovers pizza. Smoked salmon pizza, that's interesting. Margarita pizza. Some pesto pizza. Brie and apple pizza. Grab a couple of grandma's meatballs, why don't you? Some garlic knots, don't eat the bread. Build your own pasta or risotto at the made to order pasta station. Here are the pork braised short ribs. Pumpkin ravioli and foie gras. Anchovy buttered salmon. 
some lamb gyros. Here's pineapple manganada, ube orchata, and cranberry orange virgin mimosas. On to the Latin station, here's salsa molcajete, chicharron, guacamole, corn tortilla chips, habanero salsa, and duros. Here are shrimp tostadas, Mexican churros, torta ahogada, chili torredos, some Sonorian street dogs, fried plantains, duck carnitas quesadilla. Here are queso birria tacos. Here is frijoles rancheros, Mexican street corn, some achiote roasted chicken, some arroz yucatecan, some chile verde, some onion, chili, lime, and cilantro, and tortillas. Here's ceviche de polpo. Some ceviche compenchano. Here's shrimp aguachile. Now let's take a look at everybody's favorite section, the desserts. They have a made-to-order crepe station. You can choose from mixed berries, banana foster, whipped cream, with chocolate, caramel, raspberry, or Nutella sauce. Here's some fresh fruit. There's cantaloupe, honeydew, pineapple, watermelon, and grapes. Raspberry and peanut butter cones. Here are some assorted cupcakes. There's vanilla, peanut butter, and birthday cake. There are mochi donuts and vanilla chocolate, green tea, and ube. Here is chai seed pudding. And no sugar added cheesecake. Here's green tea panna cotta. This is vegan strawberry cake. And raspberry and lychee jello. For the holidays, they have holiday cider. Otherwise, it's Thai tea. Here's strawberry mousse. And banana pudding. My favorite creme brulee. And here is berry cheesecake. Here are cups with chocolate mousse and marshmallow. Here is lava cake, pineapple upside down cake, and warm cinnamon rolls. Here's tiramisu and ube chiffon cake. These are Vietnamese coffee cups. For gelato, they have wild berry, strawberry, mango, peach, watermelon, banana, chocolate, cookies and cream, and vanilla. Touring the 250 plus dishes has made me hungry. Let's go eat. Let's go see what they have to eat. Of course, we're gonna need some steamed crab legs. How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you so much for your asking. I'm doing great. Thank you for that. Of course. It's very good. Enjoy, sir. Perfect, thank have you. A night. You too, thanks. Okay. And shrimp and grits with a scallop. Oh, yeah, pretty good seafood plate. Pizza, that's a no-no here at the buffet. And here we have a volcano roll. Pacanal roll. Some yellow tail. And a little bit of tuna and salmon cocoa. Curved duck roast. Take a crab. First round here at the most expensive buffet in Las Vegas, the Bacchanal Buffet. This sucker is $84.99 on the weekend and it is Saturday night. We got some seafood. Mm. We got mostly seafood. There's a little bit of the other stuff. We'll get carving after. I'm going to start things off. I want to get into one of these lobster claws. For the longest time, all they had was chilled lobster claws and now they're poaching them. They must have been listening. We all want them to be warm when I'm cooked. Hey. All right, we're getting Maybe into I'm it. Good one. Oh, it's so juicy. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa! You did it right. Oh, let me crack this sucker off here. Very right, good. We gotta twist his little pincher off. Oh, I don't know. It came right out on there. My shell's empty. Oh, hold on. Aww. That's what I got. 
Okay, it'll be okay. Man. I don't uh, use cutter, I use knife. Ah, I see. All right, I got some kind of meat off of this. Let's get a little butter on it. <laughs> Definitely glad. I, I like it warm than, yeah. than cold. I'm so glad they started cooking it. Of course, they also have steamed snow crab legs. That's an everyday thing here. Is that warm? It's warm, oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Oh my God, so fresh. Fresh, it just slides right out. That's how you know it's fresh. Let's get this bad boy right into the butter and chow down. You want a piece? No, you No? First. Me first? Mm. How is it? It is sweet and delicious. Hey, maybe I take one. Yeah, do it, I think you should. Oh, you're going for the claw, I love it. Oh, ah. there you go. A lot of meat. A lot of meat, right on. Oh, Ooh. yeah. You want? Yeah, thank Dig you. It. Dig it. I want you to have a good piece. A lot of meat. Mm. I'm going to eat the blue crab. I love when the crab seasoning have a lot of bone. <laughs> this was a Calbee short rib. Let's give this a shot. Mmm, tender. And juicy. Wow, duck. Lost the duck. They left the skin on for you, right? Yeah. Nice. A little bit of salmon poke. Like a little seaweed salad in there. Delicious. They put some onion in there too. Kind of like a little filler. Look at this beauty here. This is shrimp and grits. Oh. Baby shrimp in there. Hey, let me try. Mm. What are you thinking? I think it's salty. It is. <laughs> mm. Oh. And they added a little barbecue sauce in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like, they threw a scallop on the half shell in there too. How about that? Yeah. A nice addition. I remember, sometimes they have oyster too. Mm. They do yeah. have barbecue oysters up there. Hey, let's go get it. We're getting into the salmon poke? Yeah, it looks spicy. The salmon poke have chili on it. Spicy? I thought it's salmon. It's tomato with it's just salmon. Toma oh, tomato <laughs> with salmon. <laughs> It look like it. <laughs> so no spice or spice? It's spicy. Spicy. All right. It tastes like kimchi. Well, this is a volcano roll. Let's see if this is going to be spicy. With a name like volcano roll? Yeah, try it. Not so much going in, but definitely on the back end. Now I'm fiery. Oh, this yellowtail sashimi has some jalapeno on there. I can't do it. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Why? Why they make it spicy? Because uh, they don't want you to take a ton of it. <laughs> People like me are gonna take 20 of them if it's not spicy. <laughs> Fresh, not bad at all, that was good. Sit up the carving station. Have some brisket and prime rib. Thank you. Thank you. Can I try some lamb, porchetta, and quail? And well, perfect. Thank you very much. First, I'm going to get into the prime rib. I'm going to get into the outer part first. That one's like the fattier beef. Dip it in the au jus. Juicy and delicious. Get myself another piece from the middle. More au jus. Delicious. Let's take a look at this lamb chop. This is exciting. Whoa. Mm. Mm. This one's juicy all by itself and I haven't even put any sauce on it yet. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Let's get into the brisket. Ooh, this one's really soft when I'm trying to cut it. That is a nice smoky flavor. I'm gonna need to go back and get some barbecue sauce for it after though. Try a little bit of the porchetta. It's so soft, perfect combination of fat and meat. Oh, so good. This is quail. Let's find out where the meat is. Where's the meat in this quail? There it is, there it is, I found some. Not a lot of meat in quail. Can't quite pinpoint it. I don't wanna say it tastes like chicken because everything tastes like chicken. They have some pretty nice seafood options. They have these little smoked salmon cones with caviar on them. Ooh. 
That is a tasty combination. How about seared scallops? Oh. Oh yeah, that is really nice. Oh, I'm gonna have some oyster. Barbecue oyster. Oh, look, it's cooked oyster. Mmm, it's good. When it cook, it gets smaller. It's still good. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Can I have the same one? Woo! Yes, Look good. I get some banana frosting, whipped cream, pecan, pistachio, and caramel and Nutella on the top. Oh, I knew you were gonna have Nutella. There's just no if, ands, or buts about it. Yeah. All right. It look. It's looking good for me. This is a good choice. Good combination. You did well. Mm, very good. The crepe is delicious, but the topping's even better. Yeah. I gotta try and get topping and crepe in, in a bite. Mm. Mm. It's fresh. Yeah, let's see what kind of desserts they have. The bochi donut. And then a cream pie, heck yeah. Got a hot chocolate mousse, berry cheesecake. Peppermint mousse. Some Chinese food. Here in the suit looks good. Vietnamese coffee cup. And then we got ube. All right, look at that loaded plate of desserts. The largest, grandest buffet in Las Vegas does not have any shortages of desserts. There are a ton, and I only got some of them. I'm excited to try this green tea mochi donut. Actually pretty tasty, kind of light. How about that bananas foster? There's a little bee in there, cute. That's pretty soft too. Mm. The bee is crunchy. This one was hot chocolate mousse with the marshmallows. All right, I gotta dig through the marshmallow to get to the mousse. That one is very rich. Here's the ube. Ube is quite pleasant. And there's ube cake on the bottom. Always got to try creme brulee, no matter what. Loving that candy-looking shell on the top. You know what I really like? Small bite. This way, I can try a lot of different things. Some final thoughts on the weekend dinner at the Bacchanal Buffet. It's truly hard to fathom how big this buffet is until you experience it in person. What I have personally experienced is that it seems busier by the seafood carving and Latin stations in the front and not as much in the back. I truly think this is because some never make it to the back because there is so much to eat up front. They've added some new items that I don't remember seeing last year, the most popular being the poached lobster claws. Previously, they only served them chilled and most folks want them cooked. It appears they've heard us and they've made the adjustment. I did see some scallops, caviar, and Thai blue crab. They all seemed like new additions. The seafood was fresh and the carved meats were juicy and maintained at a warm temperature. I'm not a fan of the 90 minute time limit for the buffet, but they are very busy and in need of tables constantly. With the new additions and the good quality of food, I do believe it is worth a try. Don't forget to make reservations because it is very difficult to get in and the lines are very long without them. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment because the more you do that, the more YouTube shows our videos to new viewers. And remember, it's always a good day to explore Vegas.